Um, we're Stephen and Ruth, we're the owners of Bear Market Coffee um, and we started the company about just over seven years ago. Um, so we were both architects at the time, qualified as architects and it was at the time of the Great Recession. Um, neither of us could get any jobs in the field we were in and we were looking like should we emigrate, should we change careers, we weren't sure kind of what we were doing with ourselves so more as a hobby and a passion we decided to add the coffee arm really just to pay some rent yeah. <laughs> and make a little bit more money for ourselves we didn't really really foresee it as a, a full career at the time but um, you know we put a lot of, of energy and effort into it and then we saw there was a huge gap in the market at, at that time um, for quality coffee that just didn't exist in Ireland um, so yeah we set up a, a pop-up um, trolley in Blackrock Market so we would like we had this little stainless steel table we would wheel it down to the end of the market and uh, we had a single group coffee machine two grinders and we were selling uh, really good quality for the time coffee yeah. um, and we just got huge traction like people would queue up outside in the cold for the coffee and um, so we just said like let's, let's go for it and yeah. <laughs> uh, so we looked for a lease and the property beside us Inside the Blackrock Market entrance there was up for rent for a few years because again it was a recession, not much stuff was moving so we applied for that. It took us a few months to get it across the line because we were a startup, you know, we had no kind of um, business background behind us so it took us a while to get it across the line but then we did, we secured that um, and that has been our, I suppose, our, one of our main stores for the past eight years. Yeah, and this property came up which is obviously stunning at uh, yeah. the old church. And uh, I think if it hadn't been for COVID, we'd have probably, if we'd have opened the Rose Street, which I still think we would have, but maybe not for a year or two, but it probably would have been city centre. And I doubt we've got something with quite as much character as this, you know, yeah. and I think this is just the right move for Bear. Yeah. Um, all our properties have a little bit of something unique to them, yeah. and this caps it off. It was, it was tricky timing just because of the pandemic. Yeah. So, like we were, we'd be used to fit out, you know, this is our seventh fit out now, so they always take kind of six or eight weeks and then they're usually over. So like in our projections we would say six weeks so we'll open the shop and then it would always be eight weeks or ten weeks. Yep. Whereas this one, I suppose we had um, done the design with our architect Dua, um, who we always work with for all our properties and then we were kind of doing our timelines, but at that time the government had shut down everything, especially building works. Uh, so we kind of just had the keys for a while, we'd come in and out, and we kind of, there was nothing really we could do. The site was, you know, just sitting here for yeah. months on end, but it was beyond our control, you know, it was beyond our contractor's control. There was really nothing we could do. On the other side, it did give us loads of time to think about all the details. Yeah. So like we're really detail focused, so is Dara. Um, so we really wanted everything to be like made the millimeter, all the furniture down there is bespoke, you know, design for the space. So it gave a little bit more room to, to get that across the line. Yeah. Whereas usually we're on such a quick program, we get yeah. the keys, we need it open, you're paying rent. Yeah. And um, so you're kind of frantic. But and also in the background, you're planning and thinking in the background you're also panicking. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't know when is this gonna end. So you keep planning like for this. We're like, yeah, we could go sink all the money into this and then find we can't get our stores reopened. <laughs> God knows where. Yeah, they shut the go, whole so. country down, including retail. Like yeah. you could finish the build and retail could be closed again. So like yeah. it was probably the scariest fit out we've yeah. ever done. And yeah. obviously it's our biggest fit out. So our biggest injection of, of cash and, and effort. We always kind of viewed it as like, we wouldn't do it again. Like this would be our yeah. headquarters, our roasting, our kind of front of house to the customers of all that we do in Bear. So we were only going to do it once.
that lorrying arriving that first day. That was day, a big moment, yeah. That was yeah. incredible. I think it was even seeing the box. It came in that huge, big, you know, pallet box and it had the lorrying stamped yeah. on it and, like, made in the USA. Yeah. It's just, I loved yeah. even the box before it opened. And obviously, then when it opened, it's gorgeous. But I yeah. think that was really momentous. That was um, I've, you know, we both looked at roasters all over the world, like other people's roasters and it was kind of hard to imagine having one yourself and yeah. running that side of the business which is you know new for us a new side of the business so that was really exciting yeah. I suppose we looked at a few different types and we could have got machines in that were half the price of this one. These, these are ridiculously expensive machines. Um, they're actually, I think, the most expensive machines you can buy, essentially. Um, and I remember we're looking at through a few different uh, models with Gianluca, a few different makes, uh, traditional roaster versus this. And uh, I kind of said to him, like, if you have the ultimate machine in the world, what would you have? Yeah. And he was just like, a large thing. You cannot increase the burden when you start to breathe until this gate is closed. motor there then you will have the lift green which is the pump in the back yeah i mean uh, then there will be this one
Not so. There's a, there's a lot to get out of this yeah. coffee. I mean, it's a really nice coffee. It, it's not giving you what it can. Okay, yeah. Here, so. That's, uh, yeah, that's what I... There's lots of... Them. So now go just do a dip into that one. Sure, close it. <laughs> yeah. I got distracted on the Tories. <laughs> I prefer this one here. Um, and I use the wool yet yeah, right now as a reference. Uh, the ground was like, yeah. you know, and so it's really hard. It's and so hard. you need to kind of, a lot of roses right there. And thankfully you've got a bit of volume on your side and that buys you room and it's amazing. Yeah. But smaller roasters have to, like, they are trying to blind eye. Yeah. Yeah. Depends, it depends a lot on the importers. That's why as well, uh, many importers are also doing this tricky. Uh, tricky thing, you know, as well. They are, and that's, that, and that's why um, you might think you're buying that's sustainable coffee. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, the that's, the big, that's the big problem right there. A lot of roasters have, have no idea what they're involved in. Yeah, we will do that. You know, it's, it's frightening. I've seen coffee out there now twice on the key. And then I'm seeing this amazing story of fashion stuff, and I'm like, that killer place doesn't support that stuff. Yes. It just doesn't. Yeah, I yeah, only know that now yeah. from being yeah. here for years, years. as yeah. a green buyer. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you can't say you're supporting women farmers in coffee and put in the business and sell coffee in that place. Because well, all you're paying for is to hold women in slavery. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you add five euros yeah. to that killer place, I might be. Oh, yeah. That's the yeah, thing, I think. The only thing to reach out is that buying diet rate, they're talking straight with the farmers. Well, they're, they're, and also working with good employees. Yeah. They're, which do exist. There's 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 yeah. Yeah. But I don't think is that uh, in some countries, like let's say Ethiopians or even Colombians, there's a lot of corruption. Mm. That's because I don't think It's not clean enough for filter. Yeah. Um, yeah, same thing. It's a bit of a roasty. It's yes. But on the espresso, it's fantastic. You sound like an excuse, but it's not. <laughs> what's uh, what we do as a whole? You know? uh, at the moment, I'm nearly made up the roast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I put it apart already. Like, uh, 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 it's very pretty. Like, have you ever tried me? If you sit inside, it's a nice and charming. I'm getting completely a mud. <laughs> but we're gonna keep you in those. It's amazing. And then like a whole great big So it's like, okay, that's what I'm just gonna need a little like flex. <laughs> I'm not going to, yeah, I'm going to run. Okay. Unless you want to jump in the back. <laughs> I've done it before, oh. but not again. <laughs> you ready? Bye bye. You, you always had it over here, hanging over you with bullets and kind of going, well, that's, that's tasting really good, but we know that it takes exceptional on a really good machine. Now, that excuse isn't there. It's like, if it's really good coffee, it should, we should be able to get tasting exceptional with that. So, um, yeah, there's no excuses when you have something like that. Yeah. You, you know we can do it, so it's up to us now to figure out how to do it. And we're very lucky with Chattanooga there, who's so passionate and driven in it, yeah. that, um, 
he's, he's always wanting to fight and push forward and himself to be special. Hopefully with the pandemic kind of clearing the way, like building that team morale, team spirit. Yeah. Um, Go back to what Bear was always about, so yeah. it's always about the kind of... Creating a community yeah, like with our customers and our staff. Um, that's something we're both really passionate about, so I think kind of bringing that back to the whole team. Yeah. Have an open party in some yeah. place. Yeah.